As of April 2021, Japan Studio, Sony's local home studio responsible for creating and aiding most of their legacy IP, including Loco Roco and Gravity Rush and Bloodborne and Ape Escape and The Last Guardian and Shadow of the Colossus and so many more, became defunct. They closed the studio down to focus on Western efforts, and many of the staff went to make their own IP. Uh, we've covered this in another video, but basically most of the staff are spread out doing their own thing now. And some went to Timo Sobi, who are the creators of Astro. They get, they get to live on, but most of that staff has dispatched to other locations around the world, making different games of their own. And what was very weird about this is just one year later, August 2022, just randomly, a Gravity Rush movie was announced. <laughs> Which is odd because Gravity Rush as a series ended, the development team is gone, <laughs> the director is doing their own game with Slit Ahead, there's, there's no remnants of Gravity Rush remaining, so to create a movie is bizarre, and I didn't really believe it. I didn't believe this was a, an actual thing, it just felt like something that they would... You know, it felt like Sly Cooper. You know, they, they did a teaser for a Sly Cooper CG movie and then never cancelled it, but just, just never acknowledged it again. And I thought this is what this was, like just to sort of bring excitement into Sony Pictures or something. But yesterday, during CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, Sony showed off uh, Torchlight. And the basis of Torchlight is basically it's a big previs studio where creators can come in, use Unreal Engine to make all of their assets and backgrounds and characters, and then take performance capture, and then take sort of digitized cameras and use it to move around the environment. So it's, it's basically the most physical way of making a pre production, which is usually a very long endeavor. So that this kind of cuts the time down, which is a great thing. But in this reel were two very odd things. Gravity Rush, and Patapon! <laughs> and for those who don't know, Patapon... The, the, the developers of Patapon are gone. They're part of Japan Studio. And they're making their own IP right now. A spiritual successor to Patapon called Ratatan. What is this? But back to Gravity Rush a moment. This is our first look at the movie. And obviously it's early. Obviously this is previs. This probably isn't the actress playing Cat. It's a very odd way to preview a movie, because this is the final boss of the franchise. This is the final boss of Gravity Rush 2 right there, just flying towards them in a cityscape. Um, from what I can see, like, obviously we can't judge much out of a pre clip from a preview in a sizzle reel for a studio. But um, it doesn't look like uh, a steampunk Paris. I don't see Dusty anywhere. Where's, where's my pre Dusty? And I don't like the costumes. <laughs> so I, I can complain about a lot of what they've shown in a short few second clip. But I guess the reality of the situation is this does ground Gravity Rush as a real movie. Um, this is actually a thing that is happening. It's, it's not just something on paper. They are actively developing a Gravity Rush movie. Um, and you know, I, I guess you know, including the final boss from Gravity Rush 2 kind of implies they are taken from the source material as well. And um, Gravity Rush 2 has a lot of story, a lot of, especially in the back half. So it'd be interesting to see if they squeeze both games into one movie, or if they're just adapting two. I don't know. Um, but I'm confused. I'm, I'm baffled as to how how this came to be. Japan Studios no more. They they can't do anything with this IP, really. I, I guess they can lend it to other studios to reboot. But Gravity Rush ended. Like, this two is a, a conclusive ending to to the franchise. Like they, I guess they could do another game of Raven or something, but there's nothing to gain, really, from a Gravity Rush movie. It's not It's not like you can ship more copies of Gravity Rush 2. I guess you can remaster Gravity Rush 2 or something, but I don't... People didn't buy it in the first place. I don't think a movie's going to change that. However, I do think a movie could be good. I think everything we've seen so far of this previous doesn't look very promising, but Gravity Rush has had two very good adaptations. One of them is a 20-minute anime prequel to Gravity Rush 2, and it is stellar. Like, this is probably the best adaptation Sony's ever done. <laughs> like, it's that good. It's just a beautiful anime uh, with so many gorgeous sequences and a beautiful soundtrack from the game as well. Uh, and then another great adaptation 
is a commercial that's been delisted in the West, but you can still find it on the Spanish and Portuguese PlayStation YouTube channels. And it is a live-action commercial for Gravity Rush 2. And I don't want to oversell this. In fact, I do. It's probably the best commercial I've ever seen for a video game. Best live-action one at the very least. But yeah! Odd! And then Patapon. Patapon was in there. So Patapon, for those who don't know, was a brilliant PSP series. And, um... It's confusing as to what this is. So, in the Torchlight trailer, they specify that it's not just for movies, this previous studio. Uh, people from all over Sony, from PlayStation, from Sony Pictures, from uh, Sony Tokyo, they can all come in and make their own little previs creations using, you know, their physical camera props and everything like that. And um, they, they splash on the screen Patapon, the original PSP game. And then they flash forward to something new. <laughs> and it says, like, Patapon anime slash game development. What the flip does that mean? <laughs> and what we're looking at here is like a photorealistic background with this, like, puppet, puppet looking elephant. And it, it is a direct recreation of what they were showing beforehand. And, um, like, you can see everything's in there. Like, the, the IC2D background of the original has been made into an actual physical ice location. Uh, the elephant, which is usually, you know, just this sort of 2D sprite, is now a big old puppet. Like, I, I don't like how it looks, and I'm confused as to why why it's here when clearly there's a conflict with the developers, of, like, the actual developers of Pat upon making their own thing. Uh, and I don't entirely know if this is a confirmation that Patapon is in development, um, because, as they say here, Torchlight's also a very experimental thing. Development studios come in to try out different things. This doesn't necessarily mean it's in development, but why say game slash anime? What does a Patapon anime even entail? What does that mean? I don't know! I'm so confused. I'm really confused. But I think we can disregard Patapon for now, because I don't think that's going to be a thing. I think that was, that, that was literally a tech experiment. I am confused as to why it says game slash anime. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But the main thing is Gravity Rush. It's a movie. This probably isn't the actress for Cat. This probably isn't going to resemble much of the movie. But they are putting money in. They're actively developing a Gravity Rush movie. It's no longer just a, uh, a, a heading for an article anymore. This is tangible now and i'm scared but also we have nothing to lose <laughs> like this could turn out to be awful it's not gonna sink the gravity rush franchise it's already sunk all you can do is push that ship down further um this won't like i i don't i don't feel much to be honest with this movie it could be awful it could be great it's not going to impact how we feel about the games and I, it's not going to change how I feel about the future of Gravity Rush. That like, this is just kind of it. So, yeah, I'm confused. Are you confused? I'm a little confused. I'm, I'm more confused the more I think about it. But let me know what you think about Gravity Rush and Patapon. Direct conflicts to the current direction of Sony. Um, but, excitingly though, if... Like, we're, we're seeing a Marvel burst right now. People are kind of tired of the marvelization of cinema and video games. Um, I think we are seeing pushback against a lot of Sony's direction now. As while their franchises are all different, there, there is a shared DNA of the cinematic flair. Uh, and it, it, it runs through all of them. And I think ever since The Last of Us, everything's kind of shared a bit of The Last of Us. And it would be exciting if this is a peak at their experimental phase coming back. Because for me, my favorite Sony games, like when I was when I was a mega fan of PlayStation, it was when they were doing the weirdo stuff that other people weren't doing. It's when they were innovating and just doing strange little things, like little one-off games that don't get sequels. That That's what I loved about them. But now it just kind of feels like they're doing what works over and over and a kind of risk avert. So if, if Patapon of all things can come back, all right. I mean, I'm still more excited for Ratatan, but... Alright. I'll embrace this direction. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. What the flip was this? Thanks for watching. Bye!